YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to another video of Rival Stars. I haven't played this game in, I think, over half a year. Um, I will not be uploading concurrent series of Rival Stars on this channel. I actually have my new channel in the description box below. That will be exclusive to Rival Stars and Pocket Stables as far as horse racing gameplay is concerned. So description box below and as well as the cards in the end screen of this video will take you to that new channel. Uh, where I will be playing and uploading videos of Rival Stars and Pocket Stables. May or may not have commentary, uh, it just depends. Uh, so yeah, but I wanted to kind of get back into this game here, especially with the release of the desktop version. And there's been a lot of updates. Uh, like I said, I haven't played this game over half a year. There's been a lot of updates. Well, not a lot. There's been some updates in regards to the customization, the breeding, and all that stuff, which I do want to get into. So that's why I decided to get back into it. I was thinking about getting the desktop version, but after watching numerous videos from several people who are, are really reputable and uh, great YouTubers, they said it's fun, which I see what they're saying, but it's not worth the $40. I think it's still way overpriced. So Pickpock, if you're listening to this video, please drop the price of the game. It's not that we don't want to pay. It's just it's it's overpriced. It's overpriced. You drop the game to $10 or something, I think way more people will be more likely to buy it. Okay, so we did end up doing uh, some time trials off screen as i have uh, redownloaded the game so we came in 45 uh, 45th place with uh, lullaby beauty so we got two time skills um or two um, quick learner skills uh so 15 percent bonus xp which is cool here we came in 39th got big earner and then i believe we were in two others as well so i really want to get into the breeding aspect that is uh, what I enjoy the most, and it's only something I just started getting into as far as horse racing games are concerned. But if you guys watched the most recent Gallup Racer 2000 video, you saw we, what we were able to do with our My Horses. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I have $36,000. I totally am out of the loop as far as what's a good horse and what's not. So I definitely have to play a little bit more to get back in the swing of things. But let's show you guys my horse collection, actually. Um, let's go over to our stables. So we have, I think we have six, six mares and three, three stallions. So we have Sensational Samurai here. He's our level two stallion. I think he is actually my first, one of the first horses I actually ever got in this game. And I've kept him around. He's been great. Um, he's been decent, I should say, uh, for a level two horse. He's helped me out quite a bit when a lot of the, um, the live events. Uh, only 28000 uh, dollars in earnings, but still, I like the horse. You see, his pedigree comes from um, level a couple level ones and a level two and a level three unknown superstar and Silk Palace. Those both were horses that I had. Thistle Complication was also a horse that I had, and then um, Sensational Samurai is where he is now. So, all the other level one horses, those were ones that were provided by um the the game itself but the other horses were ones i actually acquired and used in races myself so he comes from a decent bloodline as far as the level three unknown superstar and this complication is concerned i really wanted a good level two horse so that's why uh we ended up breeding for him next we have another stallion tsunami samurai if you haven't noticed all these all the stallions have samurai at the end of the name and then all of the mares have beauty at the end of their name. It's just easier for me to keep track of them. Um, Tsunami Samurai, $320,000 in earnings over his uh, lifetime career as a level four. See, his pedigree comes from all uh, level fours. So that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, let's see. Next, Majestic Beauty. Majestic Beauty is our level four mare. She has $173,000 in earnings see her pedigree as well she comes from a lot of level fours so it's pretty self-explanatory she actually looks really cool um in the race um in the races i should say um yeah she's beautiful she is beautiful i would say she's probably one of my favorite horses that i have uh for sure i'll be creating an instagram page with my horses too so um once i do that i'd really appreciate if you guys followed in fact it may be up by the time this video is uploaded so there is majestic beauty Next is our three-year-old mayor, Lullaby Beauty, $43,000 in lifetime earnings. And as you can see, a little bit different of a pedigree. Uh, we got some level fours as far as the mayor side is concerned, and then a mixture of level one, twos, and threes on um, the stallion side. So not a bad uh, level three. Next, we have Android Beauty, our level five mayor. I think she's probably one of our best. Almost $500,000 in lifetime earnings. Um, yeah, she's a beast, man. 
as you can see, uh, Stallion side, she comes from a solid line of level fives, and then from the mare side, uh, predominantly level fours. But yeah, uh, uh, Android Beauty, I think she's probably one of my highest earning horses here. Arrow Beauty, it's a level one um, mare. I uh, just got her. I'm pretty sure she's one of the, the last horses I got before I stopped playing. Her pedigree, as you can see, she has a little bit of uh, variety as well as far as um, the mare side of things, room mare side of things, level one, level four, and a level two. Stallion side of things, sire level twos, one and one. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to make sure I had a horse at every level, especially for those live events. You know, that way I could try to compete in all of them, obviously, and gain something. Let's go ahead and check her out. Got a couple more horses to show you guys. She's also a pretty cool looking horse as well. I mean, I love all my horses. I can't say any of them aren't <laughs> beautiful, of course. Next, Triple Torpedo, level two mare, only $16,000 in earnings, lifetime earnings so far. See her pedigree and bloodline, all level twos. So, um, yeah, she actually looks exactly like Spirit's uh, Slipper, which would be her grandmother. And looking at her stats now, is she better than her grandmother? Well, she is maxed out. Now, Baffling Aristocat, that is a cool looking stallion I would love to get in this game. Black with like the white um, spots. That would be awesome. So Snow Beauty, second to last horse here. I think she has $84,000 in earnings, so uh, not bad. You can see her pedigree. She comes from all level fives pretty much. Pretty self-explanatory. And last but not least, Admiral Samurai, uh, another level two stallion here. $7,000, almost $8,000 in earnings. And then all level twos as far as the pedigree um, is concerned. So with all that being said, that is all nine of our horses. Foal stalls, we do want to breed, which I'm probably going to do. I haven't I haven't done that in this game at all. So actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just do it right now. Can I, do I need to upgrade this? I don't know. Do I have enough space for it? That's the question. So we can breed for a foal. I don't know how long it's going to take. And I'll have to obviously come back to the recording. Um, let me see. We have a level one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually need a level seven and a level eight, but I don't think I have any horses capable of give, giving us that. Now, if we breed these two, we should get uh, a level six, but we already have one with Snow Beauty. How do we get a level seven or above? Requires tier 15 full stall. Tier 15. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. So we can't get that. So yeah, we still have a little ways to go. Um, I'm not sure what level horse I need right now. Like I said, I just, um, I would like to try to get our first foal, but, um, I haven't played in so long. I kind of don't want to breed just to breed. I want to make sure we're trying to get some decent stat lines and get a decent foal. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just race with our horses. This may be a little bit longer of a video. Um, skills wise, we got quite a bit of skills here, as you can see, stacked up. Um, more money probably would be good right now because I want to make sure we have enough for the breeding. So I'm not sure who to attach some of these to. Let's see, Sensational Samurai, he's already got that. Admiral Samurai, uh, Android Beauty, Triple Torpedo. Um, I'm just trying to figure out which horse we're even going to race with. Let's see. I'm trying to race with one of the newer horses that hardly have any lifetime earnings. Get them going. Uh, Arrow Beauty. Let's go ahead and race with this mare. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can equip a skill to her to get some earnings additionally. Um, big time earner. Actually, is she maxed out yet? I, I don't remember if she's maxed out. Okay, she is maxed out, so we don't need to equip anything as far as uh, XP is concerned. So we'll put Big Earner for her. So we still have one of those left, which is cool. And then I think Admiral Samurai is another horse that hasn't really raced that much, so we'll also put him with the earnings. Cause... See, maxed out, he is not maxed out. Okay. So actually, since he's not maxed out, I guess we'll equip the, uh, the skills thing with him. Uh, da -da -da -da. When place third or better, quick learner, sure. All right, so Admiral Samurai and Arrow Beauty, those are gonna be the two horses that we run with here today. So let's go to 
I know there's a story stuff to do, but I won't do that now. Anyways, let's go to... Um, I, I haven't played in a while, so like I said, I don't remember what levels and races are best for which horses. Bonus item. If I forgot, we get bonus items now. Um, requirements level 6 plus horse. Okay, level 1, 6 is... I'm going to unlock all these because, like I said, it's been a minute. Just to see what we're working with here. Um, but, yeah. This game def I just, this game is beautiful aesthetically, man. I just feel like they're still missing a couple of major updates. And, you know, it, it'll be great. Like, an actual season mode in this game like Gallop Racer or Champion Horse Racing would be fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see. We're running with Arrow Beauty. 2,200 meters. Very hard surface so this type of race at 1400 is not going to be ideal for her i don't think where is she at girl beauty there she is oh we're projected to finish third though so that's not terrible in terms of our odds um we'll go ahead and run her here because the only other race that we could have ran with her because she's wait what level hold on level six I forgot. Can she run here? She cannot. Okay. So I guess we'll stick to what we were going to do here. Because what level is she at right now? Level 5. I forgot she's only a level 1 anyway. So she's only going to be able to um, do things here. But like I said, we're expected to finish third. So we'll make it happen. And we're going to ride. Of course, we're free. We got the green, red, and uh, blue. Kind of turquoise blue silks. No color coordination whatsoever, but I liked our silks, and I uh, doubt I'll change the um, saddle or the bridle unless I really want to. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this thing. So we're at Sewell Meadows, 1,400 meters, which is what, 700 furlongs? I mean, 7 furlongs, 700 furlongs. Golly, that's a marathon beyond a marathon. Horses and jockeys <laughs> ready for the off at uh, Sewell Meadows. I think, yeah, it's Aunt 1,400 meters. Aunt the one to beat. Arrow Beauty trying to surprise the field. All right. Let's see what we're able to do here. It's got a good start. Ready to rumble. Arrow Beauty. So a good start here for Arrow Beauty as also we launch well out right to the front. Looking good. Arrow looking good. Arrow Beauty out in front. Okay, we got a horse right in front of us. In second spot. On their back so is looking pretty good. Light. I gotta admit though, my color coordination is totally throwing me off. I like the things that matter. Just behind this that barrel. Astonishing hand in ninth position. Whatever. I like things to match. Pounding down the course, it's Arrow Beauty. It's the state in second. Just but has a mind. It's up and down with my light. Complex coming. Unless there is a demand for you guys to run the rival stars on this channel, because sometimes when I play rival stars, I don't like the recording. Pushing so hard in front of that that's the only reason I'm considering the man on the other channel. It's all horse racing anyway on this channel. I'm not commentary, and I don't kind of want to mess up the whole thing. I'm not going to be on the video unless you guys are okay with it. But sometimes if I can't sleep from at night, I don't feel like I'm going to play the whole thing. I don't want to play the train of the whole thing. I don't want to play the train of the whole thing. That's what I'm thinking. Well, pushing hard in front of that baron. Then kick mistake. Hits up and down with Via Charisma. We're looking good right now. We ride across the stretch here. So the sprint here is still there. Arrow Beauty will be looking to hold that position until the final sprint. Next, it's Pia Charisma. Aunt Accordia maintaining the prime spot. Followed by that barrel. Arrow Beauty leading. Aunt Accordia in second spot. Arrow Beauty keeping the lead spot. We gotta work on her. Wait, wait. Okay, I thought we had a chance. That Baron steals the show. Shot. Just oh, holds on. Aunt Accordion. Arrow Beauty in third. Thousand dollars. Okay. Plus one away. So my items as well. That's terrible. <laughs> Why is that a screenshot? Like we didn't win the race. That's the screenshot you have when you come in first place, not in third place. But that's I, I like it. I'm just being funny. Uh anyways. Let's go ahead and now race with uh, Admiral Samurai. Just want to check something right quick, guys. Okay. Oops. Apologize for that. I just like to make sure my recordings are staying. Sometimes the iPhone acts kind of weird. Okay. Admiral Samurai, he is a level two, so we should be able to race a little bit higher with him. Um, can we race here? 
level seven. He can race here. This is his preferred track surface. The distance is 1,200 meters. So Admiral Samurai, Admiral Samurai, we need to look for something that's 2,000 meters, preferably. Um, let's see. This 1,800 meters is close. $3,000 for win. And okay. A little bit of a tougher field here, as you can see. So yeah, these horses are about at 70. Admiral Samurai is still only at level 7. He's not even maxed out yet. So rather than get into a race like that, we're going to dial it back here. And um, because how far can we really take him? Yeah, we can't really. Most of these race preferences are not his ideal situation. Let's try race 3 at Sewell Meadows. Can we do this one? Better odds, not great. Let's see what the field is still. Yeah, we can compete. Middle um, positioning as far as the uh, the running preference is concerned. So we'll go ahead and ride. Let's see what we can do here with our level two stallion admiral samurai. Let's see. I have no idea which of these horses I want to breed for our first fall. I'm really excited for that, but like I said, I need to play a little bit more to kind of figure out stat lines because I used to be really good at knowing really good stat lines and. They're ready to go at two minutes. Of that, so long, it's going to take me a while. Hunters hoping for a comfortable win for the favorite, Begonia Bobber. Once I do, that's all. Right. Samurai trying to beat the odds, yeah, and they're off. Smoke I don't know what's going on. out of the machine. Admiral Samurai going with them. The race continues with I mean, Smoke Promise. Close Cherry in second place, followed by Admiral Samurai just in front of Dancing Steel. The Gonian Bomber in 10th spot. The Midian Blood next. Like Smoke and Promise keeping the front. Close Cherry in second position, closely followed by Admiral Samurai. On the outside, it's the Gonian Bomber. Smoke Promise showing the way. Close Cherry covering extra territory. Next, it's Admiral Samurai. Head and head with Dancing Deal. The Gonian Bomber in 9th spot. Disputing with Alien Achievement. 400 to race in so Smoke we are in the middle of the pack. Dancing Deal. What's the run? Novelty victory. Charging through. Novelty victory in 6th position. Neck and neck with Begonia Bomber. Smoke Promise once again in the front spot. Fantastic. That was great. That was great. <laughs> I like this little screenshot feature. I really do. I'll, I'll save it for, for bigger races. That's fine. That was fun. That was good. That was really good. So Admiral Samurai, I think, I don't think that's his first win, but um, it's a good win nonetheless. Let's go ahead and check Admiral. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, he does have eight first place wins. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and collect some more money. Try to race with Arrow Beauty again. I want to try to get her a win as well. See what we can do. But yeah, an actual season mode in this game would be really, really, really fun, man. I think that's like one of the only things that's missing. Okay, so uh, she's only a level one, so I can only do so many races. I mean, certain levels. So either Suo Metals or Three Oaks, which are the easiest. What's her distance? Arrow Beauty likes to go 2,200 meters. There's no 2,200 meter races. The closest one is this 1,400 meter race here. Um, That's a level six, so she can't run at the level six or level threes. She can't run race three or race four. Uh, let's see. Let's try this race two at Sewell Meadows. Arrow Beauty. Uh, track surface isn't good. Neither is the distance. We are the favorite here for this race. Even though this is not her ideal conditions at all. But, um, yeah, we're the heavy favorite. So we might as well. We might as well. We need those first place finishes so we can get those bonus items. So I think we'll probably just run these for her. And, uh, yeah. We'll see, um, what happens here. 
just run these two back to back can't you skip races i thought you could i thought you could simulate like races am i misremembering that let's um let's actually just do okay we'll do this one again uh i thought you could simulate Pretty sure you can. Okay, if you select, oh yeah, right. If you select the jockey, it simulates for you, right? The free fee is 345. No? You just choose a different jockey? I'm confused. You can ride for free. Oh, I forgot. If you choose a different jockey, then you watch the race. Right, right, right. You know what? We'll actually do that after we, um, we ride one more time. I swore you could simulate. No? Did they take that out? I'm positive there used to be a simulating function or a skipping the race function. I, I swore there was. Let me know in the comment section below if, if I'm misremembering that. I thought you could s skip the races. Depending. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyways, we'll race with her one more time and then we'll have It's race on here at Sewell Meadows. Actually, why am I pressing the to a magnificent start. Bookies are nervous. Right there is Blaine But it would be time. nice to kind of see um, Arrow just to see how she lead. looks. Violet Level in second, second in putting in a strong uh, bid with Blaine Bow Time. She does back is Fever's Genius. Trying to see what a good start does. It puts us exactly where she wants to be. 900 meters to the finish and it's Arrow Beauty. Sprint Charge. Violet Level wants the front. Just behind it's Blaine Bow Time. I mean, look at this game aesthetic. With Fever's Genius. One of the most beautiful horse racing games. Continuing around the track, it's Arrow Beauty. Imagine this with a Gallop Racer concept. Blaine Bow Time in third. And I still think this game can have waste. I still think it has a lot of potential, it's just a matter of how far they take it, but Arrow Beauty you know, all the customization the is great, the breeding coming into in play is really position. awesome. Behind, I just think it actually structured season mode, just has a margin you know, over where it's important Arrow to figure Beauty out which races you're going to put your horse in in different conditions, like in second place, three lengths behind you know, all that stuff would be really, really fun, you know, I really Arrow Beauty still in first place, Lilac like level really in second like position. On their there. back is Charge Waste Coat. They run for the money. Lilac level in second. Got it. Arrow Beauty oh, still piloting the field. It's an easy win. One more to go. Arrow Beauty won easily. Lilac level in second place. Charge Waste Coat in third. I wonder why I gave her the yellow silks or the yellow um let's see let's actually customize her right quick. I wonder what I was thinking when I did that. I'm genuinely curious. I think I have to go to customization, right? Oops. Uh Arrow Beauty, where are you? No. There she is. Um Or is that just the color? I gave her the number color, okay. I forgot. Okay, so I just gave her the number color. Um, does she need blinkers? I don't know if she needs blinkers. I think she looks pretty good without them. Uh, I need to grind my money for sure, so I don't really want to buy any of this stuff yet. I would if I had more, but like I said, I really got to grind it. Oh, we actually can't give her the yellow. The, um, the yellow blinkers. 
You know what? I think the yellow looks good. I like keeping the number saddle. Some horses I will do different customization. But I like the number saddle personally. Or saddle pad, I should say. And everything else looks pretty good. So, let's see how she actually looks here. Single horse for Edo Beauty. Yeah, she's a beauty. I like her with the yellow. I think it suits. I think it suits her. Let's see. Track. Yeah, she looks awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and do one more race. We'll actually watch the AI race with her this time. And hopefully they actually win. I'll be darned if they have my baby losing. That is not okay. It's a little thing we were doing this race. Yep. Excuse me. Race, please. Thank you. Um, it's a station of samurai. Where is Aero Beauty? There she is. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. We'll put... Yeah, we're still the favorite either way. We'll put, um, which jockey is this? S. Maloof. Put her in the saddle. Oh, okay, so this is how you skip. If you put it, okay, got it, got it, got it. I want to watch this race. I knew there was a way to skip. I'm like, there's definitely a way to skip. I just couldn't remember how exactly. But that's how. Okay, got it. So it costs a little bit more. Okay, let's watch this race unfold. What gate position do we have? It's right side six here at off. Sewell Meadows. Pro Cardinal Sounds shows like good early start. A little bit Arrow Beauty is showing early That's speed. Just pushing Arrow Beauty to Pounding the down the course, it's Pro Cardinal. To see. Looking to make it from far fly. Seven or eight wide Losses across. Problem. Traveling so off the fence. From complicated hurdle. Arrow Beauty in first position. Pro Cardinal in second. Pushing hard in front of far fly. Followed by half. complicated hurdle. Looking good. Maloof, keep it up. As the race moves on, it's Arrow Beauty. Far fly, making ground. Arrow just Beauty. in front Looking of good. Pro Cardinal. Get us that last Confidential one. chorus. Fourth spot. One horse. Trailing behind The race continues five. with Arrow, Arrow Beauty. Beauty is out there running Far by fly, in second, second spot. Confidential chorus. With a brilliant turn of foot. Comes down the stretch. Close to home. Yeah, here we go. Far fly. What's the front? For a long One left to away. go. It's complicated turn. Swedish jets. spirits is storming home. One horse is closing. Arrow, Arrow Beauty. Beauty. She's tiring. Showing the way. Left, but no, Boston's she's able to just kick in. Look at that. On the what a track. stride. Arrow Beauty <laughs> wins. Just scoring from far fly. Swedish nice. spirits gets the Great third place. Great win for Arrow Beauty. Another first place finish. And we get our bonus side. I don't know what it is, but we're about to see. <gasps> Ooh, I can choose. Phil, let's see, what do we need? Acceleration feed, we need standard tack. Awesome. So every three races you get a new bonus item? Is that actually how that works? For like any race you do, it's just you have to win three times, or you have to place, or you have to win three times to get a bonus item. I just wonder if that's the case. Let's see, Um, that was Sewell Meadows. Okay, got it. So it continues. That That's actually fantastic. All right, guys. Well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end that video. Like I said, let me know if you guys actually want me to kind of figure out good stat lines off screen or if you wouldn't mind me actually doing that in the next video where, like I said, we go through all of our horses. We see which ones would produce decent stat lines for, you know, a certain level of horse because um, I'm really excited to actually see uh, I've seen people play the game obviously with their foes but I'm really excited to actually do that myself um, and whatnot and I need to get through some of these uh, story missions as well so I can level up but let me know what you guys would like me to do here and we will take it from there as so I appreciate your love and support on the channel make sure to subscribe though to the new channel I told you guys about which is where I will definitely probably be putting pocket stables I think going forward um, as well Rival Stars, like I said, it depends if you guys want me to keep it on this channel, even if I don't upload it with commentary sometimes, or if you would prefer for me to put it on a different channel with no commentary. Because like I said, sometimes when I play this game, I'm not always in the mood to actually do commentary, especially if it's late at night. So just let me know what you guys would prefer, and I'll try to accommodate that to the best of my abilities. Appreciate your love and support. Until next time, Horse Racing Gamers, signing out. We have a great and fantastic day. See ya, and goodbye.